again and welcome to our devotion for today. Today is Wednesday, November 11th. It's Veterans Day. Uh, so happy Veterans Day, a blessed Veterans Day to all of our veterans uh, who are watching this. If you know someone who's a veteran, uh, thank them for their service um, and for preserving our freedoms here in the United States. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at the parable of the unforgiving servant. That's from Matthew chapter 18, beginning with verse 21. And our psalmody is from Psalm uh, 67. So let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known on earth your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations upon the earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its increase. God, our God, shall bless us. God shall bless us. Let all the earth I'll let all the ends of the earth fear him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. As I said, our devotion for today uh, comes from um, Matthew chapter 18, beginning with verse 21. Then Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy times seven. Therefore the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began to settle, one was brought to him who owed him ten thousand talents. And since he could not pay, his master ordered him to be sold with his wife and children and all that he had and payment to be made. So the servant fell on his knees, imploring him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the master of that servant released him and forgave the debt. But when that same servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii, and seizing him, he began to choke him, saying, Pay what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. He refused, and went and put him in prison until he should pay the debt. When his fellow servants saw what had taken place, they were greatly distressed, and they went and reported to their master all that had taken place. Then his master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant! I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me, and you should not and should you and should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant as I have had mercy on you? And in anger his master delivered him to the jailers until he should pay all his debt. So also my heavenly Father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. This is the word of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, amen. I don't know if I could ever forgive him. It is an attitude which is easily adopted by many people. Maybe I've, wrong, maybe I've been wronged in some way or maybe I've hurt someone. While the person may deserve some form of justice, is it my place to withhold forgiveness? Can I look into the person's heart and judge motives and intentions? This was Jesus' lesson with the parable of the unmerciful servant. Here was a person who pleaded for forgiveness of his own debt, yet he refused to forgive a much lesser debt to someone who owed him. Well, I may think that I would never do anything like this, what does re experience reveal? Certainly I rejoice to hear that my sins are forgiven, no matter how large, no matter how horrible or damaging, the Lord declares me not guilty through the blood of Jesus Christ. 
What do I do with that knowledge and with the peace that comes from it? What do I do? Especially when it comes to offering forgiveness to someone else. To be perfectly honest, it's easy to withhold forgiveness. It's just as easy to offer it begrudgingly or to make it dependent on an endless list of conditions. I'll forgive you if you only... Well, you fill in the blank. It is this kind of practice which reveals I do not appreciate the forgiveness the Lord has given to me. I need to recognize how the Lord has dealt with me first, justly. He could have, been withhe he could have withheld his own forgiveness from me, rightly. He could have added limitless conditions. I'll forgive you only if you... Begrudgingly, he could have forgiven me only because he knew I was going to sin again anyway. While the Lord had every right to deal with me this way, it is not how he chose to work. In his undeserved love, he offered me full and free forgiveness. What this means, whenever I seek forgiveness, humbly confessing my sins, he forgives me. His willingness to forgive is established at the cross of his son, Jesus Christ. This is where I need to look to forgive from the heart. It is also why I need to daily study the scriptures and why I need to pray and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. I need the Lord's forgiveness to make me forgiving. I also need the Lord's forgiveness to change my heart. When that change does take place, and I cherish the peace of my own forgiveness, only then will I forgive from my heart. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us join together now in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Uh, today, because it is Veterans Day, and I want to thank all those veterans out there who are joining me for this devotion, um, I want to say a little prayer, a Veterans Day prayer. Um, and I hope you join, um, join with me in, in giving thanks to God uh, for all of our veterans who have uh, kept us free for so many years, the years of our country, and that, and that um, God would preserve our land and keep us free for many more. Let us pray. Not to us is the glory, O Lord. Not to us the glory. The nation we call the land of the free and the home of the brave has been your gift to us. If it depended upon our own abilities, we would no longer be free and we often are not brave. You know only too well the sins of our nation and our inherent weakness. You have looked into the hearts and have seen the self-centeredness. You have seen the shame that blights our land because of the sin that taints the hearts of everyone. Yet you have not forsaken us. You have protected us. There is a song about our nation that contains the words, God shed his grace on thee. And this is the only reason for our safety and security. Your love, which we do not deserve, is our strength. This is our only hope. Continue to shield us with your faithful love. Continue to build up our faith in Jesus who has defeated the dominion of the devil and won the victory for us over death. 
Lord, we thank and praise you for preserving and sustaining our nation for generations. We thank you for the faithful efforts of those who have served our country. We pray that you will continue to send forth people of courage and skill to be the tools in your hands for our protection. As our troops stand guard for us in distant and dangerous places, let them call upon you to be their guard. Then, please bring them home safely. This we pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord of life and glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me on this Veterans Day. Again, I remind you, uh, if you know a veteran, if you meet a veteran, if you see a veteran out in your daily business, thank them for their service. Until next time, the Lord be with you.